Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Happy Halloween. Want some? Want some pumpkin muffin? Nightmare Before Christmas on to start this Halloween morning. He's ready for his first Halloween. Happy Halloween. Whoa. We're just choosing chaos. Next up on our Halloween movie marathon this morning is Halloween Town. So I have some sorry news. Um, there seems to be a little bug going on in Christina's house. And so we aren't going to be going there for Halloween like we planned. So now we have to figure out what we're going to do instead. Um, yeah, we're, we gotta figure it out. Are you the his kid? Yeah? You in the high chair? Um, it's, it's Jamesy's last day of being one. It's not all loud, I don't think. And Teddy is in the high chair. And our Halloween plans have changed. I think Sarah said that, right? Yeah. Which, um, we'll be fine. We're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna make our own chili. We're gonna go, we planned on going to get a pumpkin in the car this morning and to get Hocus Pocus themed coffee, tea drinks from this local joint that you'll see. Um, but we're gonna pick up more things at Jewel, like hot dogs and stuff to have like traditional, yeah. our family Halloween. Uh, kids won't be dressing up because there's no like trick or treating. In our well, we haven't decided yet. Yeah, they if might we, dress up. If we want to get them in their costumes and cart them somewhere, we'd we have might. to drive a, just like a, a few miles, like a one or two miles west to mm -hmm. one of the neighborhoods that are like more residential rather yeah, than apartments. because our, our neighborhood did trick or treating yesterday. Yeah. So now we're making bagels. <laughs> So we have decided to come to the coffee and tea exchange for a Hocus Pocus specialty latte. They have all these different Hocus Pocus themed drinks. Do you know which one you're gonna get? No. So, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So I got a chocolate finger man named Clark. Yeah, it's when like the witches realize that they got candy from the devil. Why did the master give us candy? Because he doesn't talk nice stuff. So they have these little stickers on their coffee. So this is definitely from them. Okay, what do you what do you think? I think it's really stinking good. So mine's um, butter pecan, bourbon caramel. And there's a third one. I don't remember, but it's really good. And I actually got a got latte, but it has a bunch of sweet stuff in it, so we'll see what I think. I had to remind Sarah supposed to drink through the foam of the latte. Are you doing I this for the camera? No, you can, can drink, drink it? it? Okay. I, I was expecting a <laughs> No, I can drink it. It it is coffee like it tastes like coffee, but kinda like when I get espresso in Cheers. Cheers. When I get espresso in my frappuccinos. Like yeah. just that little bit of coffee, but the other stuff. So now we're up to Jewel to get a pumpkin mm -hmm. and some other Halloween stuff. Mm -hmm. The other thing in here says cheesecake. 
That's what it was, yeah. Mm. So three like awesome things. <laughs> yeah. And mine was peanut butter, shortbread, and chocolate sauce. Isn't it just like the perfect day to go to a diner for like a skillet? Mm-hmm. We're going to, we're going out for James's birthday tomorrow. So yeah. You will have to wait. We have plenty of dips planned and food snackeries for today. Sarah's so scoping out ones that are, that might supersede the one we want. I think it's got a weird butt. It's really nice. So what's wrong with the Let's get that one. Yeah. yeah, it's got better surface carving. <laughs> we have to lay James back to put the pumpkin. Oh <laughs> we just watched Scared Silly. Now we have on Adam's family. Um, but we're about to make our way into the dining room to carve our pumpkin before nap time dips. and some dips. Here's Jamesy's fancy sticker book that he got from Lauren. It's got all kinds of coloring pages, stickers, stencils. Here's the start of our dips. There's really only one more, but we're gonna eat these while carving the pumpkin. We got onion dip, ruffles, to tortilla chips, fiesta dip, the star. <laughs> You don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, is this silly? No, but then what I want? No. Alright, there he is. Pretty happy with it. We're gonna grab this table and put it in front of the window like we did last year. I just love, I love three flats like this. But. Just a gorgeous, gloomy day. This is the kind of vibe I love. I wish it was like six degrees cooler. Ugh. Bummer, witch. Gotta watch out where you're going. Um, James fell asleep. I'm just strolling around. I'm gonna pick, try to pick up a Pepsi or a fountain Coke for Sarah. So the dream is like want to own like the first floor because it usually comes to the basement of one of these three flats in Chicago. Like literally, if one of these were for sale and we could buy it right now, that would be the dream. It's like buy like oh. No big deal, like this, first floor, basement, they're long and, th and narrow, and then own something. I wouldn't even say we have to own it, we could rent just like a perpetual apartment in Orlando. 50-50 or a 60-40 split between the two, but... <sighs> like this was gorgeous too, but I just love the actual ones that are made with the gray stone, like this one here. Like this one's for rent, it's not for own. Goal is to own one of them. Own one of them and have the primary address in Florida. That's the goal. See the ivy turning maroon on that one over there? Ah, gorgeous. Just can't beat Chicago culture and architecture in their buildings. Just put Teddy down for a nap and I am going to make our beer cheese dip, which I'm very excited about. Um, I found a recipe online. It's just called Wisconsin Warm beer dip and I'll link it below but I'll also show you as I go. So this is the beer that we're using just bringing this to a boil over medium heat and cooking the alcohol out um, so we can bring it to a boil let it sit for a little bit and then starting start adding in all the cheese. Okay I have my eight ounces of cream cheese in and now one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Whisk away until it's all smooth and creamy. And then here is my cheese of choice. I did this rustic cut cheddar jack cheese. I love cheddar. This this called, called for, like their recipe called for more of a salsa jack, but I really like the saltiness of cheddar and it calls for 12 ounces. I'm gonna put 16 in. I also put a little bit more beer than it called for, but I like the beer taste, even though I don't drink beer. Um, 
I don't like when my beer cheese doesn't taste enough like beer. And the cream cheese is smooth. So I'm just gonna stir in a little bit of cheese at a time. That way it doesn't get too chunky. I'm really bad at anything with my left hand, but look how delicious and creamy this looks. I'm probably just gonna add some salt and pepper to it. Maybe a little garlic, but I'm, I'm quite a happy camper. That's with the pretzels. Transfer the cheese over to a dish. Got a monitor on Jamesy Sears line with Teddy. It is delicious. I would say maybe um, some like fresh bacon in there would make it just plussed, but it is delicious. A plus plus, Sarah. You're just living your best life, huh? I'm just enjoying beer cheese dip. And Christmas tunes. It's like it's gonna be a slow transition throughout the day. Yeah. More Christmassy. More Christmassy. <laughs> You're already wearing Christmas colors. That was subconscious. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go straight into cooking chili. We got an onion, some minced garlic, salt and pepper going. And I'm gonna do half soy chorizo and half impossible meat. Mm -hmm. Try something new. We're Still with the blow. We have a chili competition in our family next weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to zing up, do a test run. Yeah. I just sneeze because the pepper. And now that that's cooked, I put in a can of great white northern beans. And I got this from Trader Joe's. Because typically I would do beans in a chili sauce, but I didn't find it there. So I'm going to try these Mexican cowboy pinto beans out. And then it really is good. I am doing a dry run of this chili because I am almost out of chili powder. So I'm just going to use the rest of that. Typically I'd put more. And also at this stage, I am in some oregano. Just like coat. Coat the whole. The whole pot. Okay, I'm gonna throw in this big old can of fire roasted tomatoes. Don't mind my chorizo fingers. Um, so that'll go in there. That's a big can. I'm gonna save this can though because if I need to get the um, the chili thinner, I'm gonna use this to put some water in. And then I'm also gonna put in this diced fire roasted can of tomatoes with green chilies. Alrighty, consistency's up to you. I added a half a cup of water and now some red chili flakes. Gonna let that bubble and then turn it on low and just cook it for for like two hours. Time for a chili check. Looking, smelling, tasting delicious. And we got four. Boar's Head Frankfurters on our stovetop grill. We have Coco on. It's the first Disney movie James he ever saw because it was on TV when, the day he was born in the hospital for Dia de los Muertos. I think we're gonna dress up and go to the parade on Halstead that we forgot was happening. <gasps> oh gosh. <laughs> Teddy thinks James is so funny. <laughs> We got some pasta, we got hot dogs, sport and mustard, that's how I like to do it. I don't like the whole Chicago dog. I enjoy Chicago dog, I gotta be in the mood for Chicago dog. I don't make Chicago dogs at home. It was my first job was to make Chicago dogs. Pops, Italian beef. Oh, I'm very and Sarah's blasphemous, just has ketchup. James is eating some pretzels. He's got pasta, chili, bluey water, hot dog, apple cider. I got backup just in case James gets crazy and has all that. We got 10 minutes till the parade kicks off. But we're trying to be near the the end of parade route. But we got Harry. We got Malfoy here. Wish us luck.
All right, Draco, Harry, time to go home. The parade's still going, but like the kids did really good and it was nearing the end. Yeah. And we saw the we fire, saw which the is fire. what Sarah that wanted was, the most. That was our, our goal. So we're gonna... And both of them were like starting to, to put their heads down. Like, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we still have a little fun time at home plan. So. We also now have to give this kid a bath because <laughs> that hair has got to get worked out tonight. <laughs> did you like the fire, James? We saw the Sanderson sisters. We saw Linguini and Remy. We saw Pennywise. Pennywise. We saw Beetlejuice. We saw a bunch of people we know. So even though it's like nine o'clock, there's a lot for Sarah and I to do tonight to get ready for James's birthday tomorrow. Like we have plans on like decorations and stuff for him to wake up. Plus we have to like put together some of the gifts. But the festivities actually begin tonight. But I wanted to put a disclaimer that the rest of the evening is highly dictated on the X factor that is these children going to sleep. But to start off with, James doesn't realize this, we're gonna give him a bath to get rid of that hair. And Sarah bought 100 glow sticks. Now I don't think we're gonna use all the glow sticks, but we're gonna grab a bunch of these. We're gonna give him a, a proper bath first. Then we're gonna fill the bathtub with these glow sticks, turn off the lights and have like oh. a Toy Story <laughs> bath time <laughs> extravaganza, a Party Source Rex kind of event. No. So, wish us luck. I don't think we'll see you guys in the vlog until after bedtime, probably. If you haven't watched James's um, like year two video yet, that'll already be live at midnight. Boom. Hopefully, we check in before midnight. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Cover this place in balloons. He's gonna love it. Put streamers up. Build that easel. And display these art supplies. Balloons and balloons and balloons and balloons and balloons. Streamers right there, streamers to his room. And his chalk. Was that magnetized too? Yeah. Nice. Happy birthday, James. Chalk on one side, dry erase on the other, and then it's got a tray for paint. And that's a paper wheel that you can like pin up to then color. This easel is cute, but it had film on it that makes me cook a bananas because it couldn't come off very easily. Should we say it's good to be home? It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.